Delhi had a rainfall deficit of 94% on October 7th, which changed to an excess of 684% on October 9th and to 706% on October 10th. Haryana's deficit of 81% on October 7th changed to an excess of 555% on October 9th and 602% on October 10th. Rajasthan's deficit of 58% on October 7th changed to an excess of 435% on October 9th and to 443% on October 10th. In such a situation, how did India as a whole receive only 67% more rainfall from October 1st to 10th? This rainfall begs us to question whether the October rainfall should be counted as part of the monsoon rains. Why should this be done? This is because IMD stops recording monsoon data on September 30th. Any rainfall after this date is counted as post-monsoon rainfall, even though this year it mainly happened due to weather systems that formed during the monsoon season. This is happening for the third year in a row. This calls for a reassessment of the definition of monsoon period in India. On October 14th, the southwest monsoon withdrew from northwest India after a fortnight's delay. If unseasonal heavy rainfall continues in the future, then the definition of monsoon period of India, which is June to September, might have to change. The monsoon withdrew from Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Delhi and Rajasthan, Gujarat, some parts of Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh on October 3rd. The monsoon has officially retreated from these regions, but the volume of rainfall was unusual when the monsoon winds were getting ready to leave the subcontinent. During October 1st to 7th, eight states across the country received more than 60% excess rainfall and four received 20 to 59% excess rainfall. 213 districts received large excess rainfall in the period, while 75 received excess rainfall. India as a whole received 33% more rainfall than normal for the period. By October 10th, the rains spread to many other states, especially in northwest India, where many monsoon-type weather systems became active along with the western disturbance or extra-tropical storms that originate in the Mediterranean region and bring rainfall to northwest and some parts of northeast India. One of the reasons for the formation of these weather systems can be the continuing La Nina phenomenon in its third year and the warming of the Arctic region. In the first 10 days of October, the number of districts with large excess rainfall increased to 292 during the period, while the number of districts with excess rainfall increased to 90. Climate models can reproduce the changes happening to the monsoon season over India better if the initial conditions of El Nino, La Nina, Atlantic Nino and the Arctic warming are accounted for as accurately as possible.